Yo, I can't believe this happened to me. Of course. Felt like, I don't know, like this is the second time something happened to a vehicle when I was driving. Maybe, no, the third time actually. The first two times was what Trisha's Range Rover. I hit into like a, a rock that was on a curb at in a plaza. So I was making the turn. Accidentally went over the curb just a little, just a little bit. And there was a big stone that they put there. I don't know why they put that there, but it scratched off the whole entire side and I had to get that repaired. Then when I was driving my brother home one time, some guy tried to cut in front of me and I scratched the whole entire side of his door and that got repaired. Also, that was not my fault, by the way. That wasn't my fault. He took care of it. He had to pay for it. Now it's with my car, my Mercedes Benz. I'm all the way to Staten Island, New York um, from Jersey. Once I'm going back home on the bridge, I'm just driving, I'm cruising, I'm bumping to Rob Wave. You know what I'm saying? Mercedes over here listening to me. I start hearing, doom, 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 doom. I'm like, what the heck? Turn on the, the, the music. I look in the mirror right here on the side. I see a long black rubber or metal piece. And it was just like smack in the car. And it looked like it was like attached to the tire or something. Cause I was driving and it just kept on hitting. And I couldn't pull over cause I'm on the bridge and I have people behind me. So once I get over the bridge, I pull over, I get out the car, hear the air coming out my tire. I go up to the thing. I see that my, my left rear tire the uh, air pressure is decreasing, is down in the 20s. So I'm like, dang. I'm like trying to call her. She's not answering. Kept on saying like call fail or something like that. So I'm trying to hurry up and get home. I was able to get home in time. And then my air pressure on that tire was at seven. So like it was crazy. I get out the car. I'm looking to see if there's any damage. I'm like, oh, no damage. Cool. It was nighttime. I go inside. Next morning, I come outside and I see that the side of my car is scratched up. There's a small little dent in it. My tire is completely flattened. And then on the side railing where you step on to get into the car because it's like a SUV coupe, the whole entire thing in the middle is like dented and beat up. It looked like it was beaten with a hammer. Now my car is all messed up and um, I, I can't even drive it because it's flattened. There is a tow truck guy that is coming right now to come get the car. I just wanted to sit in the car, wait from here and just like, I don't know. Cause I miss my car, I miss my baby, man. I really do. It's so crazy because like, even though this is a car and everything, it's just like, I don't know, I feel sad right now. Can't even drive my baby, it's so, it's so messed up. I actually have to get a whole new tire. I have to pay for that, which is like four, probably about like, it's gonna run me like 500, including like service fees. You know how they be playing around with you. Probably gonna run me about like $700 to get the whole tire fixed. This is Mercedes, I know this sounds crazy. The side railing I gotta get fixed. They give me a price. It's gonna be six sixty and then plus like another thirty, they said about something, and then service fees. So that's that. Then I have to get the scratches and the dent fix. So who knows what that's gonna be. So right now I'm just like, bro, I'm not in the mood right now. I'm just like sad because my baby's just getting messed up right now. So now we're gonna have to just drive the range. I'm gonna have to see what they're gonna say once the car gets to the dealership today. I'm just gonna sit here, wait for the tow guy to come here, and then we're gonna see what happens. As you guys can see right here, look at this. All flat. So whatever it was, like a nail or something, popped the tire. And not only that, but whatever got caught was smacking the black off my car. I don't know what it was. You see right here? You see these dents and stuff in my car? And then look, it really smacked the crap out of right here. Put dents in it, so I gotta get that fixed. Yeah, it just messed up my whole entire tire. Yeah, so I'm aware of what it did back there. And then the side right here, and then All the right. dents. Sounds good. The car was right here. I'm already feeling sad. Like it feels like parents sending the kid to like the first day to school on the bus. Like, I don't know, man, it's just crazy. <sighs> All right, you guys, so I'm pretty sure that Cam probably told you everything that's been going on and is going on with his baby, his first baby before Kyla, his car. Speaking of, Kyla's trying to go down for a nap right now. Cameron has gotten into a couple little accidents it's gonna sound way worse than it is a couple little accidents in his times of driving most of which were absolutely not his fault there's only one that was like his fault but technically it wasn't because it was just like a large rock but anyways this is the first time that his car is getting like damaged and i can tell that he's really going through it oh really look at him he is stressing out. Ugh. His baby just got towed away on the truck, and now he just doesn't know what to do with himself. Honestly, it's like a feeling of like, a lot of people are gonna just say, yo, you're doing the most, Cam, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But everyone has different feelings. It kind of feels like I just like, it was like Kyle's first day going to school, and we just let her go into school. <laughs> That's and we're, and we're like, just like, man, I'm already missing her. Like You're so you know dramatic. That's what it feels like. It feels like, like, that's it. She's gone. 
I want to go get her right now. <laughs> you quite literally have a flat tire and a couple dings. No, I like, know, but like, still, it's just what I'm feeling right now. Yeah. Like, I feel like, you know what I feel like is the crazier part? That it always hits different and hits worse when it's something you didn't cause. Like, if you got into an accident, not that this is like any better, because damage to a car is damage to a car. But no, like, I would still, I would still, you would still feel now. upset, but like, this was not your fault at all. So it's like your car is away for absolutely no reason right now. For who knows how long, you know? They said it could be a couple of days, depending the on the amount time. of money just to fix everything is gonna run up. Oh mm -hmm. my god. Damn, bro, I'm so pissed. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> uh, it's like that bridge, like, I don't know why the bridge. There should be like a manager. There probably was someone there managing like everybody, making sure everything's straight. Mm -hmm. But like, there was like debris from just like construction construction on the road that I ran over. We're gonna see if like, you know, there's anything else broken with the car and everything because it's on the way to the dealership right now. And I don't know, all we gotta do right now is just wait and see what happens, so. I know it's making him super upset, but honestly, babe, like, it's just life. You know what I mean? Like, as adults, we kind of have to just like go through stuff like this, no, but I'll, it's wait, completely, wait, 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 wait. I'm what? Not, I'm not that sad, like, it's like petty sad. This is a petty sad, that, like, it's a petty sad phase that I'm just going through. Mm. It's, I'm not, that serious, like sad, like, oh my God. Mm. And like the price gonna go lay down in bed and blast rock metal. All right, I'm not, all right. Like I just need to eat some candy and I'll be sure or get some ice cream from somewhere. But honestly, this is just a whole mess because we have so much stuff coming up and like, because the people at the dealership said they don't know how long the car is gonna be like out of commission type of thing. Cause he has a flat tire. Like this is, it's not totaled obviously, right but like, now, it's a flat tire. yeah, he just has a flat tire two hour like site. But when they check out the car, it could be something completely different. So we just have to double check and make sure everything is okay with the car. But we leave in a couple days to go on a trip and then coming home and then going on another trip right back to back. So if we can't pick it up either today or tomorrow, I don't know if we'll get it back for like a week or we might have to have somebody else come pick it up for, or go pick it up for us because we won't be here. So. I don't know, we're just gonna have to wait and see what happens. Mm -hmm. All right guys, so I'm back at my baby girl, my boo thing. Everything is all set and just, it's good, it's good. Everything is good. Um, I do wanna say I'm in a great mood. One, because I'm back in the car. Two, Instead of paying hundreds of dollars, I only had to pay $40. Now the reason why is because Trisha actually told me she remembered that when she got the car from me, she added a tires package plan thing for like a repair or something like that. They actually said that they found a nail in the wheel, which means I was correct. There was a nail I ran over that was connected to some type of object or whatever but they were able to repair the tire and um it was only forty dollars so from hundreds of dollars to only forty dollars i'm in a great mood everything is like fine i got my uh tire okay the pressure is okay they test drive it they clean the inside they vacuum the inside they clean the wheels on the outside the car everything but i do still have some scratches and dents that i'm still gonna have to take care of so i'm gonna show you guys that as you guys see they clean my rims up and everything usually there's a lot of like brake dust because I be hitting on the brakes like crazy. But over right here, yeah, I don't know if you guys can see it right here. There's like a scratch going down. There's a scratch right here. There's a dent right there. I still got that. I'm saying the scratch right here. Um, we still got the dents right here. This is what I was talking about on the uh, step stool railing thing. Um, it's a dent right here. A dent right there. But if you look at it, it looks like a hammer was hitting it. Like I don't know. What was hitting my car? But thank God the door don't look like that. That is crazy. Some scratches right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm gonna have to get this like fixed um, by a body shop or something. But it's not that bad. I ain't really worried about it too much. And right here, see the scratch right here. Kyla and Trisha's in the car inside there. Looking at it now, it's not too much. Um, the car is drivable. I'm thankful for that. Everything's fixed. The Tyler right here is no longer flat and like destroyed. So I'm straight, guys. I'm happy. But I'm gonna get all this fixed later on right here. Damn. Look at this shit. That's we're at Trader Joe's right now. We're actually about to go grocery shopping. Trader Joe's and we're gonna go to Wegmans. And we're gonna go back home. Got Kyla. She's Daddy's sleeping. Been. She's sleeping. She's oh. sleeping. You woke her up. Oh, guess what? She loves Trader Joe's anyways. Hi. All right, guys, so we are finally back home. She's in the back right over there. We have groceries over here, and we just got finished doing a really, really minor short grocery shopping because we do need some food. 
to eat, obviously. But we did a minor one because we have to go to two spots. We gotta go to New York and then we're going to Nashville. So there's two spots we gotta go to. So we don't wanna get too much groceries because it's probably gonna go to waste. My car is back, finally home, ready to be used again. Going back over to Staten Island. Hopefully, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm gonna keep my eyes more open and focus on the road to make sure, you know, that I'm not running over anything and stuff like that. And then I gotta get the stuff fixed, you know, the minor stuff that still needs to get fixed. But that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, I'm actually, you know, super excited, like I said before. I get to finally drive my baby again, and things is just gonna go right back to normal. I got some of the ice cream sandwiches. These are the best ice cream sandwiches you can ever get. First Trisha one. believes that her homemade is better, but it's literally the same brand for cookies that she makes. But it's different, it's different. It, no, and these, is, these you know is way what? better, these are perfect. I put you on too. Because, you did put me on. Because one time me and Cam were in the grocery store and sometimes what we'll do is like, especially if we're on a diet, we'll be like, all right, one unhealthy like snack item each. So we were down the ice cream aisle and you picked out what for you? Klondikes, you picked out Klondikes, no? And then I picked these out and you were like, oh, yeah, was ew, ice cream sandwiches? Who <laughs> even gets those? And then you had one of mine because your Klondikes went away like that and then now you eat all of them. And yeah. I don't even get to freaking have one. Moral of the story, these are fire. I'm in a great mood too because like I said before, it's some ice cream, you know what I'm saying? So I'm probably gonna have one of these as a little snack. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. But I'm gonna close out today's vlog. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And I'm super happy. I hope you guys are happy. I hope you guys have a great day. And with that being said, we'll catch you guys in the next vlog video. Wish you guys like, subscribe, and comment if you're new. Boom, we out. Peace.